if you live up in the countryside, you're going up in the hill. Every day, you're going in the up. valleys. The road is not good. It's it's not paved. Then you would definitely need an all-wheel drive. So the type of vehicle that you choose will definitely <laughs> make your investment worthwhile or not. And as sales representative, we normally engage in conversation to ensure that you're purchasing the right vehicle. Because one of the worst things we want is that after we sell it a vehicle. A, a week or two or even a day you call us back and say oh you know i live on a steep hill and i can't go up there it's skidding it's very embarrassing we ensure that you purchase the correct vehicle so that when you get it you'll be happy and we will see in the next three four or five years hello throppers and welcome back to another video podcast episode and if this is your first time visiting a special welcome to you my name is winthrop wellington and i am the host of on deck with throp where we have meaningful conversations with people from all over the world all about Jamaica. And today we have a special video presentation from my Throp X 2022 Jamaica Investment Conference. And today we are talking about purchasing a vehicle in Jamaica. And if you are even considering or even wondering what the process is like to buy a vehicle in Jamaica, this is definitely the video for you. We have two expert panelists in Jonathan Moen from ATL Automotive and Sasha Marie Spence from NCB Bank. And of course, you need the car to buy and then all, of course you need the funds to buy it, right? So we have both of these individuals and experts on this panel discussing everything that you need to know about purchasing a vehicle. And they did an excellent, excellent job in breaking down the details. Also, kudos to the audience because they asked some really great questions, both online virtual audience and the, the physical audience as well. Quick PSA before we get into the video, I just want to let you know that Thropex 2023 tickets are for sale on the Thropex.com website. And this year is going to be incredible. I'm really excited for it, the panelists that we're getting, some of them coming back again from last year by popular demand. And we have some new ones and some new subject matters that we got feedback from last year. We extended it another, an additional two days and it's gonna be a lot more fun in the sun, but of course we are trying to deliver as much value as humanly possible. So with no further ado, please enjoy this video on learning how to purchase a vehicle in Jamaica. Where do we start if we were overseas, and you know, we're coming back, we're trying to streamline some things and we want to actually purchase a vehicle. What are some of the documents I need to have before I walk into your office, Jonathan? All right. Thank you, by the way. My name is Mohan. I'm a senior sales executive at ATL Automotive. And I just want to give you a little bit of overview first before we get right into your question. S sell your company, go on. All right. <laughs> Well, I have to let you be aware of my company so you can know whether or not you want to do business with it. So first of all, we are the, the, the largest and the number one leading automotive company in the island. Um, we are known for renowned world brands, which is divided in three categories. The first category is considered the, the volume brand. Mm -hmm. Then we have the premium brand followed by the ultra premium brand. So for instance, for the, the volume brand, we have three brands. One is a Japanese brand, which is Honda. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the most popular brands here in Jamaica. Then we have our second volume brand, which is a growing brand. It's Kia. And they have some new models. Right. Followed by VW, Volkswagen. So those three brands. So we have a Japanese, Korean, and German brand making up the volume brand. Then going over into the premium brand, we now have two German powerhouse. We have the BMW brand, which is very popular here. We also have Audi, and then we have Mini. And then for the, the sole ultra premium brand or luxury brand, we have Porsche or Porsche, depending on how you prefer to call it. So those are the world-renowned brands that we offer as a dealership. And I'm sure you're familiar with them because where you're coming from, you would um, know these brands. Now, as respect to vehicle purchase, it's a very simple process. It's easy. And uh, most of the burden of getting the car purchase completed is really on the dealership side. Nice. So once you are ready to purchase your car, whether you're, you're paying out of pocket, you're doing a cash purchase, or you're doing it through the bank, which Sasha will speak some more on, once we get a commitment letter or 50% payment to full payment, then it usually takes about a week and a half Maximum, we give it about two weeks, plus or minus. 
There are sometimes we may go over a little bit because we're dealing with government agency. And as you know, government agency is not always the most efficient process to get documentation in a timely manner. But for the most part, once you are not at the end of the month where there's a rush, you can get it within a week, a week and a half to two weeks. And sometimes you can even get it done quicker than that. So what you will really need if you're purchasing car here in Jamaica is first your financial option. So if you're going through the local bank, then you would have to get a loan approved. And Sasha will tell you some of the supporting documents that you'll need to get the car um, approval for the car. But if you're buying it out of pocket, then once you transfer your money to the automotive dealership, then we start the process by having you sign some documents. These documents we will use to go to the tax office later on. But we also have to clear the vehicle from the government. So when the cars come into the island, they are not at the dealership. They go into a facility that is known as the bonding warehouse facility. So once you commit to the car, we pay the duties on the car. Once the duties are paid, then we start getting paperwork for the car because these are brand new cars. So there's no documentation at all for the car. So they will issue the import entry. You will get the fitness for the, for the car. And once we have those critical two documents, then we ask you to get your car insured. So you go to any one of your insurance company. If you need a referral, we can always put you onto our insurance company. And then we have you sign those, doc those documents such as a tax office form, a letter authorizing us, the dealership, to go to the tax office on your behalf. So what that simply means, you don't have to go into any government building to do any transfer. You don't have to join any line. We do everything for you once you sign your documents. When we go to the tax office, we will now get the registration. It's a little document and a sticker to put on your car. The car will be removed from the bond store. It will be relocated to our showroom by means of record. So there, at no time is your car driven on the road. It is transported, transported from the bond store to the showroom. And we put on your license plate. And once everything is settled in the form of payments, we make an appointment for you to come and pick up your car. We have a nice celebration, take pictures, bows, but, so forth. <laughs> Uh, we're going to step back a little yeah. bit in terms of the documents that I need. Tell me what you need, my TRN, my national, I, right. some of the documents. So you definitely will need your TRN because that is what will be used at the tax office to transfer ownership to you. So everybody will need a TRN. Mm -hmm. What else? The other documents that you will need, if you're going through the bank, I will have Sasha speak on but, that. Uh, the, the automotive financing, right? Like, so, can I have my money ready? Right. So, if you have your money ready, there's nothing more you need than your identification. So, driver's license is usually the number one identification that we take. Once you sign your documents, we complete the tax office forms for you. So, you don't even have to do the tax office form. Once you sign it, you complete it, and we go to the tax office. So, there's not much documentation that is needed from the dealership other than your TRN and your driver's license. But if you're going through the bank now, yeah. Sasha will tell you what you need. Before I go to Sasha, so let's say I'm overseas and I know I'm coming to Jamaica in about three weeks and I want my vehicle ready by the time I get there. Can I send my digital signature on documents or it has to be a physical thing? Right. Well, that's a very good question. The answer is no, because the government documents, it has to be original. So we can't do an e-signature or send via email. We can send the documents to you via email, but you would have to print it off and then affix your signature as original. All right, and for this, or tear it down. All right, so let's say, fine, I don't have all my millions put down and I need some assistance from NCB in order to make that purchase. So I'm not a Jamaican citizen, not naturalized. What is that process going to be like for me if I walk into NCB? All right, thank you for that question. So before I start... My name is Sasha Spence, the private account executive for NCB Private Banking. Private Banking. So NCB, we do a whole... Okay, thank you. With NCB, we not only do auto loans, we do um, residential mortgage, unsecured loans, secured facilities, credit cards, insurance. My fellow um, colleague would have spoken about the capital market side. So for the retail side of it, to get an auto loan as a non-resident... What we actually need from you is your ID, social security number, 
um, the card itself because we will have to open an account for you at NTB to get the process started, all right? Okay. So to open the account is ID, social security number, proof of employment, proof of address, references, which is similar to what we will also need to do the processing of the auto loan, right? So as a employed person, the job letter, the last six months pay slips. Six? Yes, six. <laughs> we, will all, we will also need the last two years bank statement from your salary account, right? We'll also need your tax return, your detailed credit report. Once we have all those documentation, Jonathan will provide me with your performer invoice, and then I'm able to submit that application on your behalf. No, getting an auto loan with NTB is like easy as one, two, three. So Jonathan mentioned how easy it is for you to get an auto loan, you know, but um, with us, once all the documents are provided, I'll submit that application on your behalf. We should get a response within two business days. Given that all the documents provided, you know, it's good that we don't need any additional information from the underwriting team. We can get a decision within two days. I'll give you a phone call. I'll give you a phone call to say, hey, congratulations. You know, your auto loan has been approved. And we're on to the next step for you to now decide your insurance, right? With ATL, it's a one-stop shop. So we assist you with insurance or assist the company, Guardian General Insurance. We can provide you with a quotation. So you, have to, you don't have to go anywhere. Jonathan and I will support you along the way. Hold your hand. We get the insurance set. He goes over to the tax office. And then it's pretty much completed. He provided that with those documentation to transfer those documentation, which would have been to transfer the victim your name. I would then submit the loan for disbursement and it's like one, two, three, and it's over. You're ready to drive out that vehicle. But it's, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. A lot of the times we'll watch cable, like in Jamaica, we'll watch cable or we'll see on TV in the shows, they're talking about what's my credit score and if I have bad credit and good credit. Tell me how that factors in you deciding on giving me that loan. It does, you know, because having a high credit score is, is, is we're taking on a risk, right? Yeah. I know a lot of the time for the overseas applicants, you'll have a lot of credit cards and they said they need a credit card because you need to build a credit score and they'll probably refinance a loan. And sometimes when you refinance a loan and you pull the credit report, your credit score is a little bit higher. But at the bottom, way at the back of the report, it would give us some information as to why the credit score was high. So we have to take those into consideration because we're now lending you and we want to ensure that these customers that we're lending to have a decent credit score. But every customer is different because it's a secured facility. A lot of the time we do, you do a little negotiation. You put some money in the bank, just take the balance it out. I would say, all right, the credit score is high, but it was high because of this. Because in life, we all go through a lot of things. Yeah. You know, so um, we are there to assist the customers regardless. But credit score is important. No. Yeah. Wait, Come to you said high line. What? Are you right? No. Oh, no. It's what I in, your, in your case, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. sorry, sorry. But no credit score. <laughs> So, so what happened for us is the reverse for us. So we call it high, but in your case, it's low. Yes, Carol. High risk. High risk. Yes, yes. So let's look at it as we just had a panel about registering a business. So let's say I registered a business in Jamaica and I want to buy a truck for that business or a car for that business. It's a brand new business. It just opened one month. And I, but I need that vehicle. What's that relationship going to be like? All right. So for on the business aspect, the business must be registered for at least two years because we have to see some time. We have to know how the business is, work, is performing because the, we, we, we're going to rely on the financial of the business because, hey, we're lending you this money and we want to know that the business can provide this income to, to pay for the vehicle on a monthly basis. It's a risk that we're taking too. Right. However, each customer is different because in some cases, the business just start. You're banking with us. We can then say, all right, set aside some funds, put this in the account. We can even secure that money and then give you a load from the security in the bank. So we, we do, we do um, work with the customer as best as possible to give them the maximum financing. In terms of an auto loan, though, is it, do I get a better rate as a company wanting the car or as an individual? Uh, no, we have tailored no. You know, it, it, we, have, it, we have decent interest rates for both individuals and, cost and, and the company. Because, you know, you're all customers. 
else, you know, whether you want to operate your own business or for your personal preferences. It's just that we have different interest rates from time to time. Even right now, we have a promotion going on with ATL and other companies. So at no point in time, we have a fixed interest rate because we want to appeal to the consumers. And, you know, it's Christmas time. Now is the time we should be getting those loans for the new year. And the interest rate, <laughs> we, have, we have, you know, competitive interest rates. What's the... Uh, uh, for, for, all right. So, um, all um, the personal and business. Okay. All right. So on the personal side, we go as low as, well, both. We go as low as 7.5%. Right now, it's on a promotional basis. And from time to time. So come next year when you're ready. We might even have a low interest rate. Who knows? Oh. You already know 7.5. <laughs> you know how some companies have, I guess, it, well, this is your promotional period of 7.5. Um, is there any specific time of the year that you dip a little lower than that? Well, we're actually dipping a little lower. No. Oh, you know, time. with everything that is going on, with the economy, of course, you know, pandemics, so everything went up a little bit, unfortunately. But we do have these interest rates. And not only that, with the promotion we have with um, Toyota, the commitment fee slash. So instead of the 2% that you would pay on the overall value of the vehicle, it's just $35,000 out of pocket. All right? Yes, $35,000. $35,000. And you get up to 11 years, and it's a promotional basis. All right. I'm going to go back to Jonathan for a little bit here. So, yes, if you're overseas, you know, you have driven a range of vehicles, whether it's in an Uber or even just the experience of actually driving on your own. Now, the Jamaican terrain is very different right besides the potholes and just the general terrain it's very different how do you advise me on the type of car to buy and um, manage my expectations all right well that's a very good question because oftentimes when we have our clients buying cars they're confused because of so much information that is out there um they really don't know what to choose right and the internet sometimes complicate things because there's so much information out there that you don't know what to sort you. So usually your sales representative, they should speak to you first to find out what is the usage of the vehicle. What, what is the intent purpose of the vehicle mm -hmm. that we can better advise you what to get. So take, for example, if you're living, say, within this um, area, the road is flat and you're constantly commuting this way, highway then you do not need what is known as the all-wheel drive or a 4x4 four four because that car would be too much of a vehicle for you for the usage that you're going to use it for. However, if you live up in the countryside, you're going up in the hill, Every you're day going in the up. valleys, the road is not good, it's, it's not paved, then you would definitely need an all-wheel drive. So, so the type of vehicle that you choose will definitely <laughs> make your investment worthwhile or not. And as sales representative, we normally engage in conversation to ensure that you're purchasing the right vehicle because one of the worst things we want is that after we sell it a vehicle, and uh, a week or two or even a day, you call us back and say, oh, you know, I live on a steep hill and I can't go up there. It's skidding. It's very embarrassing, right? It's very embarrassing. So to protect the brand identity as well, we ensure that you purchase the correct vehicle so that when you get it, you'll be happy. And we will see in the next three, four or five years. In terms of servicing, for, ex for example, you know, in the first year, you give me a certain number of servicing. So whether it is I'm driving an, a pickup type of vehicle, four wheel drive, does that, do you give me more servicing opportunities with that one versus a little Honda? All right. So, so, so that also is a very nice question. I wanted to touch on it uh, for the reason being um, buying a car is an investment. Whether you want to look at it as a depreciating asset or not. It is because when you buy a car, you want to have peace of mind that you will have support for it. And that's one of the main reasons why people are switching from buying a used car to a new car. Because when you buy a used car, you really don't know what you're getting. Sometimes the, the mileage is falsified. Um, sometimes it, 
it wasn't an accident. You don't get warranty. You don't get service. So these are the benefits of buying a car from a new car dealership. You will get warranty. The minimum warranty for some of the brands are like three years or 100,000 kilometers. You have some other brands that we care that will give you five years and even some that are, that are given more than five years. So, so that's peace of mind for your investment. Mm -hmm. Also, when it comes for servicing, that's also another headache that people try to figure out how they're going to fix. But all brand new vehicles come with a service package. So some will give you a three-year service package. Some will give you a five-year service package. It depends on what you're negotiating at the time of your purchase. So you don't have to worry about servicing after you buy the car for another 30,000 kilometers or three years in most cases. You don't have to worry about warranty. So there's really peace of mind. And there are other things that we do to assist the, the process of purchasing the car, such as we ensure that your vehicle is tinted, which is complimentary. We make sure that the first stop after you drive out of the showroom is not the gas station. You have a full tank of, uh, of, of gas. <laughs> we ensure that you also get roadside assist. In America, it what? Triple A? Here, it's JAA. So we ensure that you have roadside assist just in the case you go out and something happens. You might have a flat tire. You dress up for a wedding or some ceremony. You don't have to get out and change it. You call them. They come and change a tire for you. And they're available island-wide <laughs> unless you're living somewhere far from what a wall yeah. that would be on the cart you would need to show the path the toy no the toll is a private entity right. that's mm. not owned by the car dealer <laughs> <laughs> No. That's an important question. So let's say up front, he said, and by the way, I will be traveling from St. Well, St. Anne to Kingston often. Can I give you the money to go and pay for my tag? All right. So we're an evolving company. And, uh, and, and, and how we offer... No, 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 no. So we're an evolving company. And how is it that we offer service and products is based on the demand for it. Right. So up to this point, we have never had a situation where a client ask us for that service but i can reassure you that if in the future we have customers demanding that feature we will definitely include it because we like to be a game-changing organization and want to be the first to offer things so that's one thing with atl automotive we try to lead instead of follow so who knows maybe another three years that might be the way to go special concierge service a question came in um would anyone on the panel be able to verify if this is a fact or fiction? Cars that are made to be shipped to the United States of America have higher safety standards. For example, reinforcement for side impact collision. Where do you weigh in on that? And the short answer to that is yes. Cars that are built for the American market, they have strict requirements. And it is true that they may be built to a better standard or quality. However, 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 in recent times, we find that because there are brands that are coming from different parts of the world, they are trying to standardize things. Mm -hmm. So the cars that we have, like take for example, my brand that I represent is Honda, right? It's a global brand. All our cars meet the, the, the safety crash requirements and testing. All of them are built from the same material, same grade and everything. The difference between the Hondas here than in the United States is not separated by safety. And, I, I, and I'm only speaking on my brand that I represent, which is Honda. I can't speak on all the other brands. The things that separate us in our market would be like features. So in some market, you may have different features on your cars compared to the features here. But overall for Honda, we share the same platform. We share, same, share the same safety features and all of those things. And some of the safety features are also built based on the tier vehicle that you're getting. So that is why some vehicles cost less than others. So if you're getting an entry level vehicle, it may be that you only have a driver and passenger airbag as opposed to a, a, a fully loaded that might have the side impact, side curtains and all of those things. But that is depending on what you as a customer want. So a feature is, is safety something that is paramount to you then we always tell it to just go and get the one that has everything on it. Mm. All right. 
Any additional questions? All right. So let us go from, all right, let's go my left to right. Oh, yes, that's a... All right, so with electric vehicles... Uh, all right, so, so that's, that's a growing business right now. Um, a lot of automotive companies are switching to electric. Take, for example, for my company, Honda, they have given themselves a timeline for 2036, I believe, to be all electric. So there's going to come a time when internal combustion engine, what we refer to as the ice engine, will be like a dinosaur. And there's something a trend happened, for those right? types of yeah. people. Right. So, so right now, for our brands here in, in Jamaica that ATL Automotive um, carries, we have started the electrification process. So we have some that have hybrid mm -hmm. and some that have full electric. So BMW, they have full electric. Audi has it. For Honda, we have hybrid. We have not introduced our first full electric vehicle. That is a couple or a few years away from now, but eventually we will have full electric. There's their charging station on island right now. So they're scattered, but as soon as these technology become more commonplace, it's going to be just as gas station. Where you see a gas station here and there, you're going to see these electric chargers there. But I was told that electrification is the future. So unless they find some other technology between now and the next 20 years, then I would say look out for it. It's coming. We have started already. And it seems to be the future when it comes on to transportation. And we have policies um, by the government that, have a no that are leaning to leniency regarding electric vehicles as well. And we do finance those vehicles as well. That's right. <laughs> um, we're going to move to... Oh, yeah. Let me just um, speak to the question that you asked about the standard of a vehicle from North America. And that is why it's important to buy a trusted brand. Because brands such as BMW, Audi, they build their car to a, a higher standard. Honda, the same thing. But you have some brands that is coming from the other side of the ocean, which their safety features and their requirements aren't as strict as the United States. So when you buy a, a, a vehicle that is coming from a, a part of the globe that don't need to, those requirements, then yes, you will be, be buying a car that might be compromising on safety. So, and that is why we say we carry the world-renowned brands, brands that you can trust, because we do not um, shortcut on safety. So, so for our cars, the standard of quality is still there. All right, let me take the date. Yep. You mentioned about um, the NCD. Well, when it's a supplier, somebody that's employed. <laughs> Uh, All right, thank you for that. So self-employed, we would actually need proof of the business registration. We would need two years tax return. Slow down, she writing. Okay. Right, sir? <laughs> so uh, proof of registration for the business, article of incorporation, two years tax return, your financial statement, A letter from your accountant, which is almost like an auditor's letter, which state what amount from the business you get as your personal salary. We will also need the last two years bank statement on the business account and the credit report. Well, what? <laughs> I mean, t tell us, I mean, I've heard it, but tell us why are all of these things so important, even in trying to buy a vehicle? All right. All the documentations are important because we want to understand the business that you have, right? We want to ensure that this business is legal. It is registered. This is a legitimate business. I would believe that some of the other colleagues spoke about, about the importance of registering the business. We want to know that this business is legitimate. A lot of scam is going on. We want to entrust in the companies that you have and know that we're lending into a company that we can trust. All right. Okay. All right. Let me, let me go to her first. Yeah. Who is a business of well residents of Jimmy and I? Call one thousand a year, one of the years. Okay, for them, it's uh, pretty much simple. It's just a job letter and the last three months pay slips. 
And if the salary comes to a different bank than NCB, we would take the last six months um, bank statement. Pay slips. Mm -hmm. The job letter and the last six month salary, um, this last six month bank statement. If the salary doesn't come to NCB, along with a copy of your driver's license. Oh, yes, right? So, <laughs> yep, no, I can actually do. Yes. All right, let me finish this side. Ready, Noel? Well, um, the requirements for this is all, but uh, all, uh, you, is it the same thing for a uh, small, as opposed to a risk setting? And risk can they part of that well for an uh, all of your fighters? Well, it's for risk can they do? How do you mean so? Well, it, it doesn't matter the name, actually. The requirements are the same, and we would pass it on to the corporate team. So the documentations are the same. Small, big, same thing. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Well, today, Level, everybody. Level text. <laughs> there were some other questions on this side. Can you hear a little bit? Yeah. I was showing this question to Sam, and I stepped outside, told me what I'm in board. But, uh, so what was the girl? Let's wait, 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 wait. Now, now you see, you bought a car, but you're going to be here for uh, a short period of time. Let's say, uh, three months. Um, is there a bit longer to cut? Don't be sure. You want to be sure or else for that security to tell behind your app. Jill, what's the process or heck of a doodle? I don't like to use it to get around that, but how do you use it to that? You know, because you don't want to pay for a full year of insurance. And you're able to be here for all for cutting your advice and you know you should put the word. All right. So for insurance, usually it's annually, right? However, I think that that would have to be a question that we um, address to the insurance company because there might be some flexibility in the way how they approach your individual business. But what I do know, I have clients that are in your similar situation where they are tired of renting car because there's expense associated with it. So we have people who come, they might spend three weeks or three months or six months and they go back home. And they're always saying that it's too expensive to rent. So what they will do, they will buy a car and I, they, they are insured for one year and they leave, come back and have it. But it's a question that's good for me to note because I will definitely ask my insurance representative if I have some time I could probably phone a friend <laughs> and see if I could get that answer for you right now but I have an insurance company and I know for my vehicle because I don't own a company <laughs> sorry I know um, and since COVID there was a lot of talk where people are saying I am not using my vehicle every single day and the insurance companies across the board were seeing late payments because people are like, we're frustrated. Mm -hmm. we're, some of us were laid off, some of us were furloughed, that sort of thing. And all of a sudden, I guess it's good. Um, we got the option where you could pay for six months and then, or the full year. So I'm not sure if it's any lower, like maybe there's a three, a six, a nine, a 12, but I know I had the option um, for six. Six was my medium, very more of a lot. Boy, Jesus. Right. Yeah. So I know that option is actually available. Up to last year, I did a six-month one. But then, you know, we went back to office. So then I said, well, I can't bother with the reminder every minute. So I just paid for the full year. But I did have the option of doing the six months for the insurance. Because people said, we're not using the cars as much anymore. But we're still paying, you know, this exorbitant fee. So they started to look at flexible ways and how to reduce. But they still wanted us to pay. So they broke it up. So, but I think most of the insurance companies are starting to understand things, you know, issues like that as well. You phoned a friend? Oh, wow. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> All right. On the next round, we'll find out. <laughs> At the end. Street voice. Any other question? What well, I've checked out for the same. All right. Any closing words? Oh, sorry. Uh, Top one at 18. Oh, right? oh, top yes. Best, top one. <laughs> I've been back and forth for the last three years, renting a car every one of the last year. Mm -hmm. Daily incentive from Uber to a, for a renter to an owner that uh, 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 uh. Oh, it's a, it's a rent cars. 
we rent cars. We have another uh, arm of the company. Enterprise. Right, Enterprise. Yeah. Is that what you're asking if our company rent cars as well? Well, incentives right now, because I'm moving over from a rent, but I'll buy it straight here. Oh, we do have something available for it. Like if you look at his history and you say, wow, he really does good business with us. What can we do? Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe, maybe we can look at it on a case-by-case -case basis <laughs> to see what can be done. <laughs> I don't know. Well, if you give me a name, and I could probably look and see what, what we can work out. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> great sir. Thank you. Have we met before? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, but this is the place. We are at the Tropics Investment oh, yes. Conference. Is that, this is where no, because your face looks very familiar since you asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> now that you know him to good business with you. All right. Any other question from this side? No? All right, so closing remarks, Ms. NCB. All right. So buying a vehicle is an investment, guys. So when you're ready... Sasha Spence is the name. The email address is spencesm at jncb.com. Should you have any additional question, you can reach me by email or by phone at 876-349-5312. Thank you so much for this opportunity. It's a wonderful experience. S-P-E-N-C-E-S-M at jncb.com. <laughs> You're welcome. Miss Private Banking. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Premium service. <laughs> and John, any closing um, remarks on this topic? Well, um, while it is that we represent several well-renowned brands for ATL Automotive, I directly represent Honda. Mm -hmm. And I, I always tell my customers, especially when they're confused, if it's not a Honda, you're just blunder. <laughs> All right. So, so when in doubt, <laughs> when in doubt, buy a Honda. But of course, you can look at all our brands. So if you would like to contact me, my, my number is 876-550-8015-550-8015. And my email address is J-M-O-H-A-N. That's J M O H A N at A T L Automotive dot com. So the name is Jonathan Mohan. On that note, Jonathan, because I remember a couple of years ago, my par not from your group, my parents bought a vehicle. It was a new brand to Jamaica at the time, and it needed a specific part. And it was such hell to get that part into the island. For example, with Honda, is it and the brands that you have. Is it easy to replace and maintain the parts of these vehicles? All right. So we have an after-service department that's inclusive of parts. So they should be able to have everything that we sell, we support. And if they don't have it, then they're easily be able to, to get those things because we have the dealership the license to get the parts. So usually for my brand, it's always easier to get everything. I can't speak on the other brand, but I know that for every single brand that we carry, we support every single brand that we sell. And there's also something that I need to mention. Um, we have a state-of-the-art body shop, which was just opened recently. And unfortunately, accidents are things that we cannot avoid sometimes. Mm -hmm. So in the event that there is a need for repair, we're able to restore the vehicle to the original manufacturer specifications. And that's the technology that we have invested in. So if there's an unfortunate, there's an accident, we have the technical expertise and everything. So if there's something that you need for the car, usually it's supplied there. Um, if it's something that is hard to get, usually they try to get it within six weeks or, or to three months the most. But there, there are sometimes that there might be challenges because there are production issues or supply chain issues. So sometimes it's really outside of our hand, but we always get it eventually. Hey, about all the park. Is leasing? No, we don't do that at this time. I, I think it is something that they're also looking at. Uh, they're, they're trying to look at that as well. So maybe in the future they will offer that as well. 
There's a little more question. In the middle of and our within six cities to treat you on suburb care. Do you get with back to your... Well, Lona is not automatic, you know. It depends. I mean, take for example, if you were in an accident, then whatever compensation that you need to get would come through the insurance. However, if there is a situation where it's on the side of the car, like take for example, you had a car and unfortunately there was a defect with the car, then we would give you a loaner car. So it, it depends on the situation. Good. All right. And on that note, I think we've come to the end of how is it that we can buy a motor vehicle, whether it is I'm interested as an individual or I'm interested in getting it for my company. We know all the brands under the ATL group, especially Honda, <laughs> that's ready to serve and give us the best drive of our lives. And of course, with Miss Private Banking from NCB, they are willing to look at, you know, your credit history and work with you to give you the best deal that there is, whether we're in their promotional period or not. Um, so we want to thank them both for all the information shared during this part of the conference. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's a lot. You just watched a clip from Thropex 2022. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, click right here. All right here.